welcome my dear grade 8 elite students to today's session this is one of the most requested videos uh, that i'm getting for grade 8 elite so we are covering the term 3 exam review uh, we have taken in this video from learning objective 2 part 1 from your exam coverage is the most important questions so let's see what questions we are solving in today's video in this video you have to write a conjecture which describes the pattern in each sequence if you see carefully uh, in each of these questions 1 to 8 there is a pattern which is followed in every sequence you need to find that pattern then use your conjecture to write the next terms in the sequence so let's observe a little bit about the patterns here so if you see you have added 4 at each term add 4 to 4 you get 8 add 4 to 8 you get 12 add 4 to 12 you get 16 and so on so can i say there is a pattern yes each term increases by 4 here so you can use that pattern to write the next few terms so i can say the next term would be here 24 then you add 4 28 add 4 32 and so on so these are the next few terms of the sequence Similarly, if you look at this, you see there is 1, 2, then it becomes 2, 2, then 3, 2, then 4, 2. So the next would be having 5, 2s. Okay, so you can use this pattern uh, to write a conjecture and the next term. Next, you observe this one. Here it becomes half. It is divided into 2. Then divide 1 by 2 by 2, you get 1 by 4. So every time it is becoming half, so the next term would be 1 by 16. Let's look at this pattern here if you see carefully uh, the pattern which is being followed uh, I want you to identify and tell me in the comment section we will check it in some time then you also have some other figures given here so if you see uh, let's take question 7 so here if you see the shaded part is here and then it moves in the clockwise direction so then it goes to this part so it shades here then it goes to this part so definitely in the next one it is going to come uh, i'm going to draw a rough figure because it's clockwise so one two three four so it's going to come and shade here if you see question eight the pattern is one two three four five six seven eight eight boxes so you remove two it becomes six here it is eight then you remove two it becomes six remove two it becomes four so in the next step it is going to be only two left so as you see these are, there is a pattern uh, that you can describe in each sequence and write a conjecture which helps you to find the next term so let's see the correct answers of all these questions in the next slide we'd already discussed questions one to four if you see question five here uh, each time the arrival is two hours and 30 minutes prior to the previous time so if you see the time is decreasing so uh, this decreases by 2 hours and 30 minutes then again it decreases by 2 hours and 30 minutes so the next time is going to be 7.30 a.m. If you look at percent humidity it is again decreasing and it is decreasing by 7% so each percentage is 7 less than the previous so the next term is going to be 79. We've already discussed the remaining questions so I hope you have understood in this video how to write a conjecture that describes a pattern and then to use it to find the next term. This is all in today's short video. Uh, which was based on learning objective 2. The next video is going to come soon, which is going to be on learning objective 3. In my channel, Mathematics Made Easy, every day at 6 p.m. you will get a new video for grade 8 elite. So stay tuned to my channel for more revision videos and make sure you like, share and subscribe. Until then, this is Mr. Chika signing off from today's session. See you in my next video. Bye-bye.